Hello everybody, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and happy during this time of pandemic crisis here. Um, I do want to show you um, a trip that I've made recently. Um, this was done in February, so this is way before Corona got totally underway and everything got shut down. So um, here I'm going to show you uh, one of the hidden gems in it's Winter Garden, Florida, right outside of um, Orlando. It's Our Kids Tropical Nursery. Here I am pulling in. It's uh, a nursery that's in a neighborhood. Um, there's three acres, I believe. Uh, you couldn't tell when you first pull up. Uh, there's just a tiny little driveway. You have to park sometimes on the, on the side of the road just to get in here. This is the front. And on the left, this is looking on the left side of the driveway. There's all these trees. There's some on the right also. Um, Here's uh, there's two paths uh, that I know of. There's one on the right and one on the left. This one, I believe it's on the left side, but once you go down, um, you there's this tree line, line trees everywhere. And then um, here I'm walking through the back and we're looking at some of the mature Jabodacaba trees and uh, all the fruit. Um, I was lucky enough to have uh, Larry Schatzner, Schatzer to um, Give me a little tour on his, um, what do you call it, the little uh, golf cart. We're walking through and he's just talking about all his little plants and uh, showing me all the cool things in his backyard. And here we're looking up at the tree really and I'm seen telling seen him, oh wow, this is so cool. Trees, yeah. um, at the end, uh, we're walking past this kombucha tree and this nice mature fruiting tree of kombucha. And I guess he's been growing it before it was even cool to have kombucha. And um, there's a tasting table. He's got all these fruits where it, he's showing, you know, samples of what the fruit you can grow of the trees he's selling. Of course, I bought some trees. And I am here in a hotel. So I flew here, so I got to figure out how to get all these plants home. I've done this before. A lot of times... Um, the trick is is trying to get all the plants into the room so you can process the trees. Um, you can see those that set a couple sets of trees there in the back. I brought them in, in the luggage in front, and I'm, uh, had a, I had to go back down because I had another large tree that uh, that's in this luggage. So I'm going to show you the luggage here. All right, so I open it up. The There's a big giant surprise in there. Now when you look in here, there is a giant. Suriname cherry. It's uh, bent it all the way, bent all the way over. I'm surprised I got that in there. Um, it is close to probably six and a half feet tall. And I'll pull it out here in a second. And we'll, hold, we'll kind of set it up where you can look at it. There it is. That mirror is probably about six feet tall. And I am uh, debating on cutting it in half or what can I, you know, should I do? Well. When you have these trees, you got to bring them to the bathtub, and then you've well, this is what I do I bare root them so I can get them so they're not so heavy and they will fit into my luggage, and everything's not going to be greater than 50 pounds, including my my uh, clothes. So I'm here and I'm carefully, as best as I can, um, bare rooting them, and I'm trying to get everything all cleaned up and sneak out the soil to put in the dumpster and I definitely do not leave a big mess at all. You can't even tell I'm doing this. So I don't want to leave a mess for the, the housekeeping. So I'm really careful about that. Get it all done, all packed. Of course, I got to have a nice nice meal and um, I'm ready to go, just about ready to fly out. But I want to get a little snack here from Culver's, the um, little custard. So that's my quick trip.